Welcome back to MedEd. In this educational vlog, you will be learning about the advertising and distribution of Hallam FM and the radio show Big John at Breakfast. The target demographic age of Hallam FM's audience is 25 to 45, so it is important that the station is advertised in places where these ages will likely to go. Hallam FM uses traditional advertising methods such as having printed ads in newspapers and magazines, for example, in the magazines created by conglomerate Bauer Media who own Hallam FM have sponsored stands at football stadiums Sheffield Wednesday and Sheffield United. Hallam FM also sponsor Ponds Forge which is a very well known leisure centre. Many top names in various fields such as beauty products and theme parks are in sponsorship deals with Hallam FM which allow the Hallam FM audience to win competitions and prizes to earn discount. This advertises the radio station and the show. Various websites advertise Hallam FM such as YouTube and Facebook. The Hallam FM shows are distributed via the radio, smartphones and the internet. This is a great way for Hallam FM to widen its audience and have more people listening in on all its outgoing content. One of Hallam FM's most successful shows, Big John at Breakfast, is accessed all over the South Yorkshire area but not just by the radio. They have the ability to access the show on their smartphones and the internet which is extremely useful for people who want to listen in on the show who aren't in reach of a radio. Hallam FM is distributed via DAB Digital Radio unlike some other radio stations who are still using the analog AM and FM radio. This means that the radio station is being broadcast over a single wavelength and that it will only allow a single channel per wavelength. Most digital radio stations are distributed via multiplexing. Multiplexing is the most modern way to access digital radio. Multiplexing is effective and efficient for radio stations to distribute their content because unlike analog radio stations, DAB radio is broadcasted by computer code which is called binary. This can be compressed to a very small size allowing more than one radio station to broadcast in one spectrum. When multiple programs are squeezed into a single spectrum, it is known as multiplexing, and not only is it easier to broadcast, but it also gives the listener more choice of radio stations they want to listen to.